All right, here's today's underwater base. Obviously, as it's Loki, he loves his underwater bases. The main problem is you have to find the damn landing pad, which is not easy. I'm just going to swap over a second. Let's try that one. Oh, there's one. Try that one. Try that one. Right, hold on. Wow, caught one in the end. <laughs> Let's get out for God's sake. I had to cut out that search. It took me far too long and I'm not putting that in the film. All right, so here we are. We've landed. Oh, let's see if this bit works. Let's get out. Yep, we've landed inside, which is his norm. I didn't show you that on the last underwater one, but yeah, usually lands close to it, so you can just pop out without getting wet. However, there is an emergency <laughs> entrance, uh, provided they've drawn in which is always a problem. Can we see my boat to get in? Oh, that's Maximus' base, sorry. I mean, it's not showing me my entrance point. So I'll have to leave and get wet. All right, let's go and find out what we got. We got freight adorers, or similar to that anyway. We got a big ring, <laughs> nothing like a big ring. Uh, what are these, freight corridors? Uh, I think so. Not that I know. Why would I know? I don't build anything. We'll just wander around here <laughs> and see what... There's a big bloody fish. Wow, get some chips with that one. Look at him! Woo! Dude! <laughs> oh, pass through a slight water section there. I guess that's where it's bent. Uh, I don't know whether it's um, because it's slightly different angle to the rest. I have no idea, but that's what I'm assuming because some of these others are perfectly joined. There's no break at all. Let's try on the outside. Oh no, that's fine. Of course, I have no idea where I am. That one's got a different door. Why has that got a different door? It's got two doors. It's locked. I want it opened, please. We're not going to be able to open this from the else outside. Uh, I don't look like it, does it? Okay, we got a private section. Is that his own private landing pad? Next to a teleport. Short range teleport. Hmm. That's why there's a door on the outside then. Must be somewhere coming out through that door then. Uh, where did we get to? Because <laughs> I'm now lost. Well, this is the end of the tunnel. But I don't know where my boat is. Okay, let's just get over there. See if there's anything... Oh, it's the other end. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> right, OK. Anyway, uh, we're going to swim over to the other side and also take a look at the short-range teleport uh, or even come in this way. That's weird. We can go in this way. OK, well, we're in. Uh, is there a bloody landing pad right on that one? could land it on the inside. <laughs> Does it work? Oh, I don't know. Um, don't know. Where's the landing caller thing? Image, image jib. Don't know. Somebody's going to open. Yeah, there's a movement detector there. Okay, well, we don't care. We're going to go to the other end. I'm sure there's probably a way out rather than a way in. Just to be weird. Okay, let's get over the other side. Back to the ship. Oh, 
Uh, before we go in the ship, actually, we're going to take the base computers on the outside by the look of it. So we're going to scan down and... Because we need it. I need the thing that coordinates. Because on a planet with a load of bases, you cannot necessarily find the one you want if you don't know what it's called. So, it's freight of cyberpunk market, apparently. Let's just grab the coordinates a second. Okay, that's that done. Well, uh, just a quick look here. Uh, that's a large number of cuboid rooms there. That's well arched. Arched or arced? Not arched. Let's get back to the boat. If I can find it again. <laughs> Plenty of got findings. I missed it. Right, there he is. We're going up back up again. Why is that one different? Oh, you forgot to paint it. <laughs> it's the only bit. These big fish worry me. <laughs> right, we're back up here. And we've got to find the door in because, you know, we need to get back in. I could have just popped back in my ship and got back out again. But that's okay. So here we go. Back in doors. Smack. Dam. On the floor. Right. So we went left last time, which is my usual cornering device. So we uh, didn't end up anywhere. At least I didn't see another downwards one. So we're going this way this time. Uh, we have a room with a view. I'll park that ship right next to it, which is quite handy. Uh, is that part of the mound or is that part of the freighter? I don't know. I don't know can't tell. Okay, not from here, I can't anyway. Um, as you can see, the roof sections of the cuboid room has those peculiar roofs, the ones with the sticky uppy bits. They look interesting, but as we all know, I do not build, so I don't use them. <laughs> I just like going to other people's because they're more interesting. People have got a lot of imagination. The other good thing about water bases, of course, is you mainly keep off the floor and you don't get grow back. A bit like sky bases. I used to go through a phase of sky bases, but uh, I've only got the one now. Right, so anyway, back into this cube. This is an actual... actual art of sticking these together. Um, it's not wide enough so that it uh, lets the water in, apparently. But they're all the same, exactly. It looks exactly. We'll soon see. Oh, there's a water one. Where's the gap? Now, would you say that's... It's different. Slightly different. Where's the other pole? Oh, it doesn't make a difference. No, it's this one that did it. Okay, we've gone through the water. See, that looks wider to me for some reason. Okay, but it didn't let any water in. But the other one was just looked narrower. Oh, we've got another one. There we go. Bit of water effect. We've got a little porthole. We can look out of the uh, rest of the building. Now, this planet's got a lot of bases on it again. I don't know whether they all are because I haven't visited any of them yet. Um, but I will mark it and we might come back here. Let's have a... Oh, wait a minute. These are like... I'm thinking loudly. They are oh, brown rooms, aren't they? They look round and then they're joined. Well, that's nicely overlapped. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Um, okay, that's that's overlapped and sloped. Pretty damn good, huh? <laughs> and not an effect of water on any of that. What the hell is that? There's another one there. Can we get there? Is there a door? I didn't see a door. 
Um, just have a quick look over here. This is a slightly different colour. I'll make sure it's not a door. No, it's fine. It's not a door. But this is only like blocked off half the room, isn't it? I'm sure that's a circular room. Well, someone will let me know. <laughs> if Loki does. But you get great views with an underwater base. Right, we're carrying on down now because, you know, I could look out the window all day long, <laughs> which I tend to be seem to be doing. Um, it's still part of the freighter, isn't it? The old crash freighter site. So it's called Freighter Market, uh, Cyberpunk Market or something like that. I forgot what it's called now. So here we are again, the similar room effect. I no idea what they're made of. I think they're round circles, but um, I have no idea, to be honest. They could be anything. But they are curved, so it's like... I'm confused. That's not hard, by the way. Um, we got a light. Uh, a, a light. We got a shouty geck. Um, we got an armor's table, I think. Search. Oh, I don't know. Wait. No, they're round tables. I think I just... Wait, more shouty geks. No wonder it's noisy in here. Um, he seems to be selling upside-down flower pots and cylinders. Uh, different type of cylinders. Hello. It's a market, so you've got to assume these are all, all vendors of some sort. Search. we got uh, uh, a gun display. We got a short range teleport there, I'm not sure. Well, I am sure it's a short range teleport. What I bet was, I'm not sure what that's selling. Let's go in here, which looks kind of. Uh, uh, moon pool effect, I think. I think. Um, with a label. We got a short range teleport, which I don't know whether we're going to use yet. Should we? I have no idea. We might have to come back to that. Uh, because we're too busy looking around. Uh, this is the DIY section, because there's a ladder. Some weeds hanging down. All planned, of course. Planned weeds. Now, do I want to go that way? Or should I? Oh, I can't go that way. <laughs> That's... That solves that problem then. We go this way. Right. I think there's a way up there. Maybe it's just straight to a door. And that's where we came in, wasn't it? I hang on, I'm lost. Uh no, that's where we came in. So I am gonna go up this way. I should have gone down the rest of the passageway, but I wanted to see where this leads. Uh, it looks just like a door, so it's probably what it is. But I've no idea. Obviously, I'm wrong again. Oh, blimey, hang on. Do I want to go up there? Because I want to check the other way out for it. We'll go down the other way first. I have to come back to that one. Hold on a sec. Okay, it was only because I've seen this door and I don't want to go down the other, move away from something possibly I might miss. And, whoa, we got the base terminus transporter and a dead end. Oh, is it a dead end? No, apparently not. It's a door without, wait, why is that? Oh, great, now we draw it in, are we? Oh wait, no. Oh damn, I don't know what's going on there. That confused me. Okay. So we've got a transporter and luggage. 
Cafe 42. I don't think it's a walkthrough, is it? No. It's hanging there. Okay, so we can now safely assume uh, that's just a dead end. Oh, now I've got to decide whether I want to go up here first. We pop up first, right? Which didn't seem to go anywhere. Hang on. Or did it? I don't think it did. Uh, well, that's got me confused. I literally cannot see a teleport cable, so maybe it's not connected. I I could be wrong. It may not have just drawn it properly. <laughs> but anyway, we're going down here, round this bend, and up and round this bend. There we are. We're back to where we were. Right. Hopefully, that fish shadow on the wall there. Let's go up here. We have another big set of stairs. Where are we going? This is now opened in here. We got a large teleport. Teleports. Yeah, we've been there. We've been all the way around that way. Oh, I bet this is the actual escape teleport. Which means we're only left with that one over there, which is probably the power supply. Okay, well, we're going to have to go there anyway. So... Mm, quick look round. Yep, it's that one. Which is the way out again. Which takes us back to the ring. Um... We were going to go out this way, just to check. Yeah, look at that. It's opened the door. Okay, so we knew the ship is this way. So we're going to walk back. And... Try and find that power supply before we leave. Uh, in fact, we'll do that now. Let's go out this door. Because there's a, wooden, a, a watertight door here, so we're going to use that one. Wait, that's inside again. That's... Right on the edge of all oh right, it's right. Ah, that's out. Okay, it's right on the edge of the landing pad to allow you to ingress the room. Oh, I was going to go out the door. <laughs> Forgot what I'm doing. Um, oh dear. Okay, not my fault. Honest. Right, we get out of here. Yep, that's the teleport we came up last. That's the thing there, and there's the other hole room. Let's go. All right, the sieve is a way in, at least. If not, it doesn't matter. Like I say, it's probably just got the electrics in it. There don't seem to be a way in. Nope, no way in that I can see. Nothing on the roof. I don't know about underneath. Let's have a quick look underneath, just in case. Stop doing that. <laughs> I thought I was in camera mode for a minute. I went down. Okay, so there's no way in there. I can't see. There you have it. So there's the crash freighter. The fish seem huge on this planet. Is that someone landing? Someone has just landed. He's a, uh, a traveling one, an NPC. Uh, I wonder if he's noticed that he can't. <laughs> yeah, I wonder when he gets out, he just goes blah blah. So he's actually walking on the inside, so there's nothing I can do about that. Sorry mate, you're lost forever. I know. I, he's not really. Okay, let's get over here. And basically, we are done. It's a very um, strange base. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I went in there. That's, that's fine. There's, there is circles, though. Let's get up a bit. Because over here, look, you can, yeah, see there's circle. So it's definitely a circular room on a square one. Ah, 
that's clever. I thought it was all circles. And then we got tilted. I don't remember being able to get in here. Just have a quick check, just have a look. You never know. <laughs> There's a circular light there, that could be significant. But apart from that, there doesn't seem to be a way in. to go in there, but it didn't seem to be a way out. Oh wait, that no, is the same place. Right, yeah, that's where we went down. So I ain't that one. So I can't seem to find a way in the behind the wall section. Okay, well, there you have it. And we have there's a teleport up on there. Why is there a teleport? What? No, it's inside. Okay. That is the exit terminus. Alright. So, yep. Definitely been everywhere, as far as I can tell. If I haven't... Oops. <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> right. I sit there. Where's the boat? My boat is somewhere around here. That way. And we'll see you later. Ta-ra!